Hi everyone, I wanted to talk, talk to you a little bit about eyebrows today. Um, though eyebrows are kind of one of the things that I am still, well I'm still learning everything, but one of the things that I don't feel like I've quite mastered as far as my own eyebrows are concerned. Um, but I had a friend of mine ask me if I could do a little video talking about uh, shaping your eyebrows and all that good stuff. So I am just going to kind of give you what I know as far as right now. And at, after this video, I'm planning on doing another one in where I'll show you how to tweeze them and all that. Mine don't actually need it right now, and I don't have a brow model. So this is all you got. <laughs> I'm going to have to use what I got. Unless I can convince my 17-year-old daughter to let me use her eyebrows because she's got plenty. But, you know, you never know. All right, so I just realized I forgot one thing. The first things that you're going to need to shape your eyebrows, and I'm not going to show you exactly how to do that because, like I just said, I don't have enough to do that, but I'm going to show you what you need. The first things you need is a good pair of tweezers. These are by Revlon, and they're just a slanted tip tweezers. You can get them that they are, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, a lot more of a fine point than that, a lot more um, tapered on the ends. I like these, they do fine for me. My sister has these like unbelievably sharp, pointy object things that she uses. Um, I could never make them work. I ended up pinching myself, but she does amazing work with her tweezing. You need a pair of tweezers. The next thing you need, and this is pretty much for everyone, I mean, unless you have perfect eyebrows that have no patches that are light or um, have fewer hairs than others or whatever, pretty much everyone needs some kind of a product to put in their eyebrows to fill them in, if for no other reason, just to make them all the same color and uh, thickness in appearance. So you can use a couple of different things. I forgot to get it out, but you can use a brow pencil. They make them, they look like an eyeliner. Um, they come in a variety of different shades, everything from blonde to auburn. Um, you can use a brow cream. They have creams that come in little, like, almost like a cake type thing. You can use a powder. Um, you can use an eyeshadow. You can use pretty much anything just so long as it is the right color. Now with a pencil and a cream, you're gonna get that waxier finish with a, with a pencil, because you know, a pencil has wax in it, and it's gonna be a little shiny. So if you're gonna use a pencil, I would recommend going back over that with a powder just to set the, the pencil, number one, and number two, to make it a little less shiny. Um, if you're going to use a cream, I suggest the same thing for two reasons. One, it's just going to slip right off. Especially if you have oily skin, it's not going to last long. And then number two, it just tends to look a little more fake. Um, and then you can use a powder, which is what I use. I have used a pencil. I don't particularly care for it on myself because I have very thin, sparse brows. And so if I use a pencil, you can really tell it looks very drawn in and waxy and shiny and yuck. Um, I will say that I am not 100% happy with my eyebrow application at this moment, but that's just kind of me because I'm continuously learning and trying to perfect it and whatever. So, what you're going to start with is your tweezers, getting some kind of a brow fill-in of some sort. Um, if you're going to use a powder, I use a brush to put mine on with. The powder that I use is by NYC, and sorry it looks so bad, I use it every day. This is wax, this is powder. The wax is going to help hold them in place, um, especially if you have bushy brows, you know, you can just kind of dab your pencil or your brush in there, go over the brow with the wax. Um, and that doesn't tend to be quite as shiny and fake looking as the pencil for some reason. But what it does is just kind of sets it and keeps all the little hairs in place to keep them from sticking out and up in places they're not supposed to be. I use used to use the little brush that comes with it. Um, which I don't know if you guys can tell or not, it's a little thicker on the end than the one I use now. I think you can see it, I'm not sure. Sorry if you can't. Um, I use a fine, thin, angled brush like that because, like I said, I have thin, sparse eyebrows and I have a lot of drawing to do. 
I have to really kind of start from scratch and create a brow where there isn't one. So if you have a thicker brow, you can use the little one that comes with it because it's a little thicker and covers more area at once. Or you can even use something like this, which is also an angled um, brush, but it's quite a bit thicker on the end. And by thicker, I mean in width. So you'll need a brush of some sort if you're going to use powder. I like one of these little guys. Just keeps your little eyebrows brushed into place. And also, after you've gone over them with powder or whatever you're going to use, um, if you'll just kind of lightly go over it like that, it tends to get off any excess that you may have dangling in your brows, which is just not cute. You can also use these. These are Ardell um, eyebrow stencils, and there's four different shapes in there. And you can you actually just hold that on like this, um, fill in what's in the inside, and you're done. It doesn't work for everyone because of the width or the width thickness and the width and all that of the eyebrow but it does work for a lot of people, so you can use a stencil. So let's go over the general rule of thumb as far as shaping your eyebrows to fit your face. I'll show you the dimensions and all that in just a second, but what, when you're thinking about your eyebrows and what shape they need to be as far as angled, uh, rounded, and all that sort of thing, if you have a particularly sharp nose like I do, sorry about the nails there, um, sharp features, you know, you have a lot of angles on your face. You have an angled jawbone. You have um, that sort of thing. Then you're going to want to go with a little bit more of a rounded arch in your eyebrow as opposed to sharp angular. If you have more of rounded features, you have a round nose, round eyes, um, a round face. Mine's round right now because it's quite chubby, but I'm working on that. Um, then you're going to want to have a little bit more of an angle to your eyebrows. Let me see if I can get the stencil out and show you what I'm talking about. Um, my eyebrows, I like them to be kind of pin y looking. I mean, pin-up as in 50s pin-up style makeup. I like that shape. So that's what I'm working towards. Um, like I said, mine are a work in progress. <laughs> as are pretty much everyone's. Let's see if I can find what I'm talking about. This is a more rounded in shape than mine. Mine are a little bit more angular. Uh, and then there's a more angled shape. This one is called Elegant. I don't really know what the big deal with that is. And then this other one that I showed you the first is pretty much a classic eyebrow shape. So you're going to want to kind of head towards something like that while keeping. And here's the glamour one. I'm going to show you that. While keeping your natural eyebrow shape, you don't want to go too wacky crazy with changing the shape of your eyebrows because it's just going to look unnatural and odd. This is pretty much the way my eyebrows grow in. Where they grow. I don't have very many. So take yourself something like this. You can take a pencil, a regular pencil, just something like this. We'll use this one because it's longer. And then take it right at the side of your nose. Like this. And right where the side of your nose is, right there, is where your eyebrow should start. So it's pretty much right, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, right at the inner corner of my eye is pretty much where that is. That's not the case with everyone, so don't go by the corner of your eye. Some people's eyes are set further apart, some are closer in, so go by your nose. Right there. The same with the outside of your eyebrow. Take your pencil and lay it like that at an angle right at the corner. This you kind of can go by the edge of your eye and your nose. They should line up. Right where your nose is and the corner of your bottom corner of your eye. Sorry, it's hard to get it from here. Is where your eyebrow should stop. I can't see. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to have to bring my little mirror over here. Yeah. There. Right at the corner of your eye. And then for the arch of your eyebrow, do the same thing. Right at the corner of your nose. You're, you know, if you have a nose, you're good because you can figure this out. Um, and right there. If I'm looking at you, it should be, and it's hard to tell. Let me make sure. Yes. It should be right over my pupil. So right there should be the arch of your eyebrow. Mine is a little far over because I had plucked them incorrectly to begin with. And then I'm trying to drop my mouse. I'm trying to correct that. So, 
it will help you to take a pencil, um, some powder, whatever you're gonna use on your eyebrows, take it like this and mark right where it should start, right where your um, art should be, and right at the outside edge. And pluck everything that goes, I'm gonna say above and below within that little range there. So anything outside of that line here, anything that's above, you know, there, and then anything that goes down further than that line there. Now the width of your, your eyebrows kind of depends on the shape of your natural eyebrow, number one, number two, um, the way that you like them. Even if I had a lots of eyebrows, I would like mine a little thinner and more angular. But keep in mind that as far as society is concerned, a thicker, darker eyebrow usually um, infers youth. Thin, light colored eyebrows, not blonde, because you know if you're blonde. But what I'm saying is is the if you have you're supposed to have dark eyebrows up there. I've got dark hair, you're supposed to have darker eyebrows, and they're just kind of not really there. Um, that kind of gives you an older appearance. So keep that in mind. And then you can give yourself more eyelid space between here and here by plucking up further with your eyebrow. And I don't mean taking out like, you know, half your eyebrow because that's just going to look ridiculous. But if you take out like one little row of hairs here at a time and see how far up you like it to look, you can kind of go by that. But this will give you more lid space, you know, between here and here if you have specifically shorter eyelid space. You don't have like a lot to work with with your eye makeup and stuff. You can kind of go up a little further if your eyebrow goes up a little further. Um, also, the highest point of your brow, which is your arch, if that's nice and lifted right there, that is kind of what helps with the appearance of youth. So that's, that's pretty much how you figure out what the shape of the eyebrow should be as far as your particular face shape. I mean, if you have a specifically wider nose than mine and your pencil comes out in here, then, you know, your eyebrow is going to start and stop at a different place, and that will fit your face. As far as filling them in, um, I just kind of tap my angled brush in that powder, and I've already done mine, so I can't really do it. And you want to start at the arch, because if you start here, this is going to be way too dark. You don't want this to be dark, 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 and then it get light as it goes out, which is what's naturally going to happen. If you place the powder there first, you're going to get the concentration of the powder there, or the pencil, or whatever it is. Usually wherever you start is where you get more product, typically. So start here, and then draw in your tail, you know, your little thinner outer part right here. And then with whatever's left on your brush, or if you're using a pencil with a lighter hand, go in and start backtracking and filling in here, and then get that little spot there. And my eyebrows, I picked the wrong day to do this because it just didn't turn out well today. It's kind of a hit or miss with me lately because I'm trying to reshape them. So it's just, yeah. Anyway, and then do that for the other eye. Start at the arch, do your little tail, go back in and backtrack and start getting towards here. Um, you want this part of your eyebrow, and again, I can't see, I'm sorry. You want that front corner of your eyebrow to be... Um, wider, thicker than that out there. And by that I mean you want this to be like a thin tail. You want this to have more width in here. And that's just naturally how people's eyebrows grow. And I guess I'll just go ahead and fix mine while I'm talking to you because it just looks really bad and I can't stand it. <laughs> anyway. So I guess that's kind of, and then I also have this lovely spot right in here that just decided it will never go away. So that's kind of altering the shape of my eyebrow as well. Wow. Anyway. All right. So tweezers. Um, I don't recommend waxing. My daughter does get hers waxed. Uh, she can do that if she wants, but I don't recommend waxing because it, they put wax on a whole big area and then it's ripped off of that whole big area all at once. I kind of would imagine <laughs> quite a bit of tissue damage done to that area. And even if you can't necessarily see it, repeated ripping in that same area is going to eventually cause a problem. 
and then you run the risk of them just doing it wrong and just hurting you all at once right there. So I don't necessarily recommend that. I do recommend threading, and I don't know if you guys have seen that yet or familiar with it, but it's usually in most of the malls, and some of the salons are now picking up on it and doing it as well. Um, I, th I believe it, I don't want to go telling you something that's incorrect because I haven't researched this, but I believe it was um, originated in one of the Asian countries, I think. And that is just, they're just literally using a thread to pull out your eyebrows and it's still tweezing. It just is a little different of a technique. My daughter had it done and said it hurt really bad. Other people have had it done and said it did not. So I just think it kind of goes by your uh, pain threshold. I don't have enough eyebrows to go through all that <laughs> or else I would have tried it by now. Um, so you can wax them if you like. You can get them threaded. Um, but whatever the case may be, when you go to these places like to have them waxed or threaded, they're not always going by this. They're not always shaping your eyebrows the way that they should to fit your face. They're just ripping off everything under here, everything up here, and everything over there. But they're not making sure that those dimensions are correct. So you need to make sure that they're correct before you go in there. Um, or go somewhere where they're interested in making sure that it's the right length, width, arch is in the right place, and all that and go from there. And again, like I said, you can try the stencils. Um, this, these are by Ardell, and I'll put all this in the information box below. I have another one that I can't find right now. I'm really sorry, and I also can't think of the name of it. And there is also a slightly higher-end brand called Anastasia, and that's how you pronounce it. She's on my Facebook, and that's how she says her name. Um, and she's kind of the brow lady. She sells her products in quite a few places, but as of right now, they're also in, uh, I mean, they're recently in Sephora, and you can buy them there. Um, she has brow kits. You can buy everything separate. She's got stencils. She has powders. She has creams. She's got, you name it. And I think they come with a little diagram as far as how to do it, <clears throat> excuse me, and all that. And then the last thing I want to say about your eyebrows is um, to highlight your brow right at the highest place will give you a little lift. And by that I mean this, the more lifted it is, the more youthful you seem in appearance. <laughs> so if you're starting to get a little heavy in the brow area there, that'll drag your eye down and make it look more weighted and older and all that. So get yourself some kind of a, um, I'm looking for my Anastasia pencil, I'm sorry, it's very short now. It's hard to find in here, but um, get yourself a little, either a little highlight pencil like I said, Anastasia sells them, and it's just this is just kind of a not sure it's gonna focus, kind of a flesh tone pinky color um, that you can put. I don't use this on my eyebrow. I actually use this on my inner waterline, just because I like the way it looks there. Um, but you can you can just put that there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Yeah, and then kind of blend it with your finger a little bit. So if you've got something a little lighter right up there underneath the brow, you don't want a big white line. You know, blend it. Um, that'll give you a little lift in your eyebrows. So hopefully that was helpful. The next time I need to tweeze my eyebrows, which will probably be in a couple of days, I will film myself doing it. Again, like I said, I don't have a lot of eyebrows to begin with. Um, and I'm trying to reshape my eyebrows, so I don't know how helpful that will be for you, but I will definitely film it. And I will keep trying to coerce my daughter into letting me use her very lovely voluptuous eyebrows. <laughs> So I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, um, please just leave them in the description box below, and I'll do my best to help you out. And happy tweezing.